All right. So we'll kick it off, guys. Welcome to um, our first Activate Fit Hit session. My name is Ari, so I'm going to take you guys through the session today. So we've got 45 minutes. It's just going to be bodyweight training. Um, you just need a little bit of space. Uh, if you're indoors, that's cool. If you're outdoors, uh, make sure you've got a bottle of water, um, a nice shady spot, and just an area guide ready to go. So look after yourselves. Um, Feel free to turn on your cameras. We might do um, some group stuff later. We'll just work together. Um, but it'd be cool to see some of you guys, so feel free to do that. Um, don't feel obliged, but it would be lovely. Um, yeah, so today we're going to focus on pretty much three elements. We're going to focus on some power, strength, and then just some calisthenics, sort of cardio training, so body weight movements um, to get the heart rate up. Uh, so hopefully you guys can have a great workout. There's going to be plenty of options to keep everybody in the workout. So whatever fitness level, wherever you are in your fitness journey, um, you can really have a good time and get the most out of it. Um, but you're in the comfort of your own home. So uh, without any further ado, let's get started. Let's get warm. I'm going to play some music for you guys. So hopefully it sounds cool on your end. Um, we did a little bit of testing earlier, so it should be all good. But yeah, so let's get started for the warm up. We're going to start mostly with um, some Tabata training. So that's short blocks of work with short rest. Um, and then we'll also incorporate some other elements like some AMRAPs and things like that. So yeah, mostly Tabata based training today. Um, yeah, let's see how we go. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. Thanks, Erica. Cool. Let's roll. All right, so hopefully you guys can hear me now. We're going to start with the Tabata timer, but what we're going to do is going to skip the rest. So we've got 20 seconds of work and then a 10 second run on the spot. So we've got my timer here. We're going to kick things up in 10 seconds. Is he doing the um get a spot of time on the phone? Do that for me. Sorry guys, just one second, I'm just gonna grab my timer just to make sure that's that we're fine again. Alright, cool. So we'll kick it off in 10 seconds, got my timer here. Back up. All right, so first move we're gonna do, we're gonna to start to get the lower body warm. So I want you to put your elbows touching the inside of the knee and then just sit down into your hips. For 20 seconds, we're gonna frog squat. So join in as soon as you're ready. So chest start back straight, keep the elbows touching the knee and then just extend the legs. So sort of facing forwards and then facing the floor. Sink down into the hips, and just roll with it. This is a nice sort of functional move to open up the hips. Just get the glutes warm, the hand needs lengthen at the back here. All right, lift up, jump on the squat, knees up. Okay, so we're going to utilize 20 second blocks of work and a little 10 second jump on the spot. We'll keep it nice and simple for the warm up. Move two, throw your hands up, jump jacks. So set your knees out, just drop into your heels here and just push your hips back. Now with your arms, try and cross at the top. If you're crossing your wrist, you're working hard through the upper body as well, but also working your heart to get the heart rate, push the blood upwards. Alright, three, two, one, knees up on the spot. Cool, so we're just using lighting short blocks of work. So keep that job. If you need a little rest, you can take the rest here. Next move, come on down, and it's just a called a Russian walk. So push your knees out, keep the heels down on the floor, and just walk low to the floor. Now, the lower you go, the harder you're going to be working. So let's get right down here. Hey, so good to see you all. <laughs> awesome. Hope the tunes are good. Hope the workout's good. Enjoy yourselves. Okay, knees up again. Let's start to use our arms to pump up a little bit higher. Lift up, lengthen your spine. All right, we're gonna switch, switch, lunge. So switch your feet two times and then drop down into a lunge. 20 seconds here. So when you lunge, 90 degrees in the knees. Chest is up, you got your front thigh parallel and your back knee close to the floor. Pop up and switch and drop. Up and down. All right, knees up on the spot. Keep it nice and short, bang, bang, bang. All right, so those four moves, one more time, that's our warm up. Elbows inside of the knee, frog squat, let's go. So when you sit down into the squat, I wanna see what's ever written, is written on your shirt. So keep your chest up, sink, and then extend. Nice, should we get a little bit warmer now? But just take it at your own time. Take some time to sit into the hips and lengthen out the legs. Nice. All right, come on back to that run on the spot. <laughs> hey, looking great, everybody. All right, let's throw the hands up again. Reach the roof, yep. 
but try and touch your hips here and then cross up here. Work hard through the upper body and get low in the lower body. Yeah, rip it up. Go team. <laughs> Looks awesome. Knees up, let's go. All right, so we've got two moves to go. Let's throw that switch, switch, lunge, switch, switch, lunge, switch, switch, lunge. Up, up, down. Keep your chest up. So when you lunge, try not to fall forwards. Keep the posture on, drop, up, down. Nice, a little bit of pace on it now. Perfect. Knees up, let's go. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Yeah. All right, let's come on down. Finish up here, wide and low. So that's our last one. We should be feeling pretty warm after this. Turn the knees out, stay low, so you can get just a little bit lower now. Feet are wide, hips are down. That's it, use your upper body, take longer steps, bigger steps. That's it, you got five, four, three, two, one, rest. That's your warm up. Feeling good? Thumbs up if you're feeling good. All right, perfect. We're gonna move into our second set. Okay, so we're gonna break it from the harder timer, but now what we're gonna do is take out that 10 second run. We're gonna utilize the rest to work hard in the working rounds. So you've got 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds to rest. We're gonna do that eight times. That's your first Tabata. We're gonna alternate two moves, okay? Keeping a body weight, calisthenic training. All right. So your first move, we're gonna take a long back stepping lunge. We're just gonna sit down low in the pulse here. Okay, so your front knee, just on top of the front heel, back knee is right underneath your hip, and we're going to work closer to the floor to work harder. So lower, it's going to be a little bit more challenging. If you're struggling, we're just going to come up a little bit. But we want that 90-90 in the knees regardless. Cool. That's our first move. Second move, we're going to squat jump forward, land, and then just hustle back. Okay, so feet wide, fast feet on the way back, keeping the posture up. You've got two moves, starting with a pulse lunge with your right leg forward. All right, we're gonna kick it off in 10 seconds, team. So your first round, 20 seconds of work. Take a long back step, bring your hips forward, so tuck your butt under, and we're gonna pulse on the lunge. All right, off we go. The 20 seconds here, focusing on the range. Let's see how we're, check in, we'll check in, see how we're doing. Hey, looking good, everybody. Awesome. All right, hold there, 10 seconds rest. So take a moment, reach to. So we're gonna start with the squat. Squat first, jump forward, land, and then fast feet back. If you don't wanna jump, just rush and walk here. Let's go. All right, off you go. So either walk in here or big jump, land in the squat, and fast feet back. <laughs> okay, so we drive power, land, control, and then agility. Move quick on the way back, yeah? Try and get a little bit more distance. Three, two, one, rest. Looking good, everybody. Okay, so those two moves, three times more. Now set your left leg forward, other leg back, pulse. Let's go. So just keep it short and small, yeah? Now, in a small range of motion, in a short amount of time, you're going to feel that tension building hopefully in your front thigh and in your butt, but you want to actually press through both feet. So pressing through the front heel, pressing through the ball of the back foot. Rest. Okay, perfect. Looking good, team. Start with the squat. Pretty low. Launch, lead, hustle back. Let's go. We're on. Go, Karen. Go, Jalen. Go, Bear. Go, Victoria. Yes, good team. Nice, clear. So look for a little bit more range, but when you land, chest up. Try not to fall forwards. You're gonna keep that posture and land into the heels. Yes, rest. Good, good, good. Shake it off, shake it off. So short blocks work, even shorter rest. Next time, you can pulse or you can pop. Okay, so pick the original leg, one pulse, one pop. Let's go. So if you wanna jump, you can jump. Otherwise, you can step in, step back, or you can just stay with the pulse. Okay, but now it's adding a little bit of extra. Hey, it's looking good. Three, two, one, yes. All right, if you have the room, take two squat jumps forward, okay? But main focus is when you land, 
just keeping the chest up. Three, two, one, we're on. Nice thing. Think about where your knees are when you're landing. Knees out over the heels in the middle of the foot. Okay, try not to crumble inwards. Pull outwards, stay upwards. You've got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, so we're on our last two rounds. Okay, last two 20 seconds, that's only 40 seconds of work. So this time, you can pulse, you can pulse and pop, or you can straight lunge. All right, let's go, 20 seconds, power down. Turn it up a little bit. Push to your front heel, explode upwards. That's it, team. Hey, you got a nice sort of tempo on that music, so you can keep that rolling with it. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, last one, we're gonna change up the moves. We've got a 60 second rest coming up, so work this one harder. Right? Squat jump, one or two, and then fast back. Go. Last 20 seconds, team. Turn up the heat a little bit now. Yes. Sub 10 seconds, let's go. Five, four, three, two, Breathe. Good work, everybody. Have a sip of water. We've got 60 seconds rest. That's our Tabata training, right? Oh, man. How are you feeling? Going well? Good, good? Okay, so just take a moment. I'm going to set us up for our next moves. Okay, so we're going to mix it up a little bit of upper body strength. So if you are outside, you want to lay down a mat, feel free to lay down a mat. If you've got some tiles or if you're inside on the carpet, you should be fine, lay down a towel. So we're going to focus on the upper body. The first move is called a cobra push-up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into a normal push-up position. The hands are narrow, and we're going to brush the side of the body with the elbows, and then we're going to do a little swivel right left. So it's a little bit of internal, but external rotation through the shoulders. So I'll just show you what it looks like. Hopefully you can see here. So I come down first and then just a little swivel, right, left, and then press upwards. Okay, so you can do this from the knees or toes. Just have your hands flat, right underneath your shoulders. Turn your elbows in towards the back, and then just drop down with your whole body. Swivel, right, left, and then press up. Cool? That's move one. Move one, you come down, little right, left, and then press up. Move two, we're gonna sort of incorporate some um, core strength into it. We're gonna mount your climb, four, three, two, one, then we're gonna drop out and up. So your feet jump and your hands press and then pop. So your feet are going out as you're dropping down and then coming in as you're pressing up. So you count four, three, two, one. Do one press, pop, and then run again. Integrated core training with some upper body conditioning, 20 seconds of work, 10 second rest, eight rounds, let's go. That's a muscle. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll kick it off in 10 seconds, team. Okay, so first move, cobra push up. So elbows in, come down, right, left, and up. We're starting at three, two, one, let's go. So try and come low to the flow first. Push and pull right to left just a little bit and then push upwards. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, shake it off. Keep your hands in the same position. Four mountain climbers, each leg. Jump the legs out, drop down, jump in, pop up. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Out and down, in and up. Run again, eight. Eight climbers, jump the legs out, drop down, jump the legs in, pulls up. The big explosive movement through the upper body here with some active force stability. Rest. Okay, that makes two moves. Three times more each. That's our Tabata for this time. Hands under the shoulders, knees or toes. Come for a push up. Go. Trying to come low first. 
shift the weight. Then upwards. Punch your elbows in towards the back side of your body a little bit. Rest. Beautiful team. The knees right up towards the stomach. Brace your belly hard. As your feet go out, keep your hips off the floor. Go. Four, three, two, one. Jump out and down. In and up. Okay, see some good speed team. Knees just a little bit higher. Put those hands right underneath your shoulders. So move with really good purpose. Three, two, one. Rest. Okay, four rounds down. We've got four to go. Let's keep that popping. Elbows in. Down, slither, and then come up like a cobra. Slither, yeah. Let's go. In, right, left, and then up. Nice, so keeping your elbows touching the side of your body. It's just going to allow you to work through the rotators of the shoulder. You look good, team. Rest. Okay, we're close. Three rounds of 20 seconds left. Three, 20, that's one minute of work left. All right, let's see these knees right up. Ready? Eight climbers, go. Drop, pop, go. Now, once you really focus, keeping your hips off the floor. As your feet jump out, suck your belly in, squeeze your butt cheeks. There it is, rest. Okay, last time we're gonna see each move. Keep it tight, swivel, pop, let's go. 20 seconds, we're on. Last time we're gonna see the cobra push up. Now, I know this is challenging for people, right? So again, take it from the knees if you need. A normal push up is fine. Just do your best here. This is a challenging move. It's like a 3D push up. We're going down and up and also side to side. So this is more challenging than just a normal push up. Rest. 20 seconds. We're gonna have a 60 second rest. 20 seconds of work. You get a 60 second rest, it's a pretty good deal. All right, ready to kick it up. Three, two, one, yep. Remember, hips up off the floor. Chest to the elbow crease, drive up hard. You've got less than 10 seconds on this one, team. Three, two, one, rest. 60 seconds, take a minute. Hey, now's a pretty good time for a quick sip of water. Grab it now if you need. Nice thing. Hey, so we've had a little bit of upper body conditioning, we've had a little bit, a little bit of lower body um, mobility and strength. Um, we're gonna kick things off with two new objectives for this round. We have power and speed. The so power is sort of like big explosive movements. We're gonna need some biometric training. And then speed, move as fast as you can, yeah? Okay, so our first move. The first round is about speed. Start a little bit of a distance away from the rim that you have. We're gonna ladder run, so out, out, in, in. Just imagine you've got a ladder here and you can step outside the ladder, inside the ladder. So ladder run forwards. I want you to touch down. So keep your chest up, squat down and touch the floor. Turn and then just run back. Okay, so this is our speed element. We ladder run with as much room as we have. Touch down, turn and then run back. So we've got a bit of speed and agility training, okay? So that's move one. Move two, we're gonna pulse and then explode. So one pulse, down halfway, and then down, explode. Then so you lift your chest, spring up through the floor, so you have a little clack of your heels together, and then land low again. Obviously, if you're not jumping, just come up onto your tippy toes with a calf raise. Okay, so one pulse, one calf raise, or one pulse, one explode. That's our move two. That's for power. Okay? We're gonna start the timer again. Starting at 10 seconds. So your first move, ladder, touch down, turn, run, and then reach set again. Starting in three, two, one. Ladder to me. Let's go. As soon as you hit the spot, touch, turn, run, reset. So light, fast. Use your arms. Your feet will naturally move faster. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Touch down. Use your fingertips, chest up, straight through the knees. Three, two, one, rest. Oh my gosh, that's round one. Seven to go. So either one pulse, one pop, or one pulse calf break. Three, two, one, go.
Nice team. Okay, so to generate um, some more upwards momentum, throw your arms back and lift your chest up. Three seconds. Two, one, rest. Speed and power. Two objectives, try and dominate each objective. Ladder runs for me. Three, two, one, we're on. Touchdown, turn, go. Now we're going to keep this really short, really fast, yes? This is speed training. The agility is how you can make that turn. So agility is your transfer of speed, maintaining momentum. Rest. Oh my gosh. Hey, you guys are looking good. Keep it up. Anyone else wants to join in on the camera? Always welcome. One pulse, one pop. Three, two, one, yep. Now you know what's the most important part here? It's not the takeoff, it's the land. Push the knees out, squeeze your butt to absorb the impact like suspensions, like suspensions on your car. Rest. Oh my gosh. Four down, four to go, halfway. Reset for speed. Chest up, out in, out in, we're on. Touchdown, turn, quick, go. Go team, go team, go team. Come on, accelerate a little bit now. Three, two, one. Three rounds, 20 seconds, 60 seconds of work left. Preload, split, go. So it's down, halfway, down, up. So your chest always pointing forwards. Try not to fall forwards as you squat. Pick up the posture, sit down in the legs, spring. You got two, one. Okay, rest. Last time we're gonna see each move. Last chance for speed, last chance for power. It's your last chance, give it your best. Run. Come on, game time team. Final push, final push. Good work, Claire. Good work, Jaden. Let's go, Laura. Nice turn, Laura. Rest. One more. You're going to make it your best. You're going to have a little bit more rest on this one, okay? 60 seconds coming up of rest. So 20 seconds of work. Last time. Go. Come on, lengthen, lengthen, lift, land. Push your knees out, squeeze your butt. Try and get your butt to the knee height before you take off. You got three, two, one. Fine. Have a sip of water. Good work, everybody. All right, so far, so good. Nice thing. <laughs> All right. So we're going to keep the good times rolling. We're going to mix up the stimulus a little bit. So now it's time for you to either work with the people that are in your household. So I can see a few guys working together. Got Karen working together. And I saw some of before. So if you're with someone, challenge them. Um, if you're on your own, it's a really good time to sort of challenge yourself and get in your own headspace. We're going to do what's called an AMRAP. So it's as many reps as possible. We're going to put four minutes on the clock. And in that four minutes, take as much rest as you need, work as much as you can, right? So it's all about working smart and doing as much as you possibly can. All right, team, so before I am wrapped today, what we're gonna do is integrate a little bit of plyometric training and then some core stability on the mountain climber with the shoulders, okay? So we're gonna do four, 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 and four, okay? There's four moves times four for four minutes. Okay, so your first move, we're gonna do four jump jacks. Second move, four lunges. Third move, four squat jumps. Fourth move, four mountain climbers on each side. So that's eight mountain climbers. Four jump jacks, four lunges, four squat jumps, and then four mountain climbers on each leg. That's eight mountain climbers. You got four times four for four minutes. As much as you can do. We're gonna start the timer in just one second. All right, team. Ready to roll. 
Four minutes on the clock, start with jump jacks. We're starting in three, two, one. Let's go, four minutes. Jump jack, four times. Lunge, four times. Squat jump, four times. And then you've got the mountain climbers. So I'll see where you guys are at. Hit the deck, quick, knees up. So keep your hips off the floor, run it hard. As soon as you've done that, jump up, do it again. Jump jacks, lunges, squat jumps, mountain climbers. Yeah, get it, team. Looks good. Okay, so on the jump jacks, you've got to throw your hands over your head. On the lunges, push your front knee out and push up from the floor. Now on the squat jumps, it's all about posture. So chest up, taps down, reach, reach. On the mountain climbers, hands right under the shoulders. Okay, so we're gonna dominate with precision and then bring in the pace. Yes, team. Now this is your time just to do as much as you can. So get in your own head, challenge yourself. We are one minute in, we've got three to go. Okay, don't think so much about pacing yourself. Just push, see what you can do. Take the rest if you need, push some more, okay? Yes, team. Jump jacks, lunges, squat jumps, and then mountain climbers. If you're burning and you want to step back the lunges, take out the bounce, do the squats and just reach. Just bring down the intensity by taking out the sort of biometric explosive element and focus on strength. So if you just ground yourself, you're still going to be working the same muscle groups, it's just going to be a little bit more achievable today. Perfect team. Yeah, on the lunges, if you're stepping, try and step backwards. Back stepping lunge. Cool. Sort of removes a little bit of pressure, like forwards momentum for the patella, for the front of the kneecap. All right, good news. Halfway. Bad news, you have to go. Keep it up, team. Two minutes. We are sub 90 seconds, last push. See now, if you're working with someone, I can see everybody in pairs is at the same level. Try and overtake. Okay, let's get a little bit competitive now. Amazing. We are in our last 60 seconds. See if we can get through the whole thing maybe three more times. The last 35 seconds. 30 seconds, last push. Guys, the AMRAP as many as possible. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Let's go, Jaden. Let's go back. Christy, Claire, Laura, three, two, one, time. Beautiful, everybody. Back it off. Have a quick stretch, release. We'll do a proper stretch at the end, but just take a second. Amazing. Man. Okay, so we got time. I think, let me double check. Yeah, I got the right time. Okay, so we got time. We're going to finish off with one last sort of big mo movement, pair of movements um, in the Tabata timer. And I'll take you guys to a little bit of core cool work and a quick stretch. Sound cool? All right, let's do it. Yeah. Cool. Good to see everybody. Hey, thanks so much for joining us for our first hit session. 
Um, just a quick reminder, so we're going to be running it on Mondays, I think it's 10, and then on Friday, like today, um, from 11. Cool. So we'll have two of these per week. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the other classes so far. Um, but yeah, feel free to share them with your friends, etc. Um, post them on Facebook. And yeah, this is our first sort of like practice run this week. It's been really good. So good to have you all. Yeah, cool. Alright, so let's finish off this workout. You're going to want a little bit of room um, where you can walk your hands out, okay? So we're going to do some compound movement. Uh, so I call it an awful walk, you can call it what you like. First thing you do is squat. So squat down, walk the hands forward to the plank position. So hands under the shoulders, brush your belly, and then you have to push back through your shoulders into the squat position, spring upwards, and then land, and then walk again. Okay, so walk, brace, walk, and lift. The okay, main thing that I want you to focus on is if your hips start to drop, if you're sort of finishing in this position, just drop onto your knees. Okay, you want to sort of even out your spine and keep it nice and flat. So as you walk forward, try to keep the hips off the floor. Normal plank position. Okay, that's move one. Move two, we're going to take some lateral movement. So you have some space, great. Otherwise, if we work just with a little bit limited space, we're going to side step, turn to the outside, turn back in, side step, turn and squat and then jump back in, okay? So it's a little bit of lateral movement, turn, back, back to the front, side step, turn, drop, back to the front, okay? So you're turning on sort of the outside shoulder around, punching down, popping up back to the front, side step, turn, pop, cool. All right, so integrating some agility, some power, body weight movements, it's our last Tabata. All right, kicking these off, 10 seconds. 20 seconds of work, 10 second rest. We're starting with the awkward walk, the squat first, walk the hands, push back, and jump up. Three, two, one, let's go. Squat first, walk the hands, push back through the shoulders, spring. Integrating some lower and upper body and core and shoulder control. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, so make sure you've got a little bit of room. Just watch again. We're gonna slide step, turn, drop, spring up to the front. The turn on the outside shoulder, and go. So when you turn and squat, push your butt back. As you come upwards, you gotta rotate upwards and then land in the squat again. Think about working low. Rest. Those two moves. Three times more each. Ready. Go. Bam, bam, bam. Let's turn up the heat, team. Rest, reset. When you side step, come a little bit lower and then turn by rotating through the torso. Okay, let your torso sort of lead the movement. Go. Side step, turn and drop, spring to the front, turn and go again. Nice work, team. Hey, no. Nice. Three, two, one, rest. Give some love to my friends got on camera. Thanks for being here, Juan, Hey, Michael, Danuj, Gray, Kamal. All right, back on the walk before. Three, two, one, let's go. We're more than halfway there now, so you've got to turn up the speed a little bit. Okay, this should be your best work every 20 seconds. Belly in. Walk. Back. Lift. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, we're close. Three times 20 seconds. Last three. Let's go. Hey, every time you bend your legs, heels on the floor, heels down, heels down. Push up through the heels, land on your heels. Nice, push across, rest. Last time we're gonna see each. If you wanna add a little push up at the end of the awkward walk, feel free. 
Okay, last chance. Let's go. Walk, drop, pop. Yes, Claire. Yes, Jaden. Push back through your shoulders. Five seconds on this one. Four, three, two. One more. Last one. All right, you and me. Wait. Three, two, one. Go. Come on, lower, wider. Now, 10 seconds. Push it. Looks so cool, team. Three, two, one. Give yourselves a quick hand, a little pat on the back. That's from me to you. Good work, team. Amazing. Hey, grab some floor, um, some floor revenue. Let's do some core work. Let's finish it off, hey? An amazing workout, tying it all together with a little bit of some core strength and stability, huh? So if you've got a towel, lay down a towel, lay down a mat. We're going to be on our backs for the whole time, so just put your laptop or somewhere you can see me. Cool. All right, ready to roll, team. Hey, thanks so much for being here, everybody. All right, last few minutes. We're still working on the Tabata timer, okay? We're gonna have two moves alternating to the core, working primarily um, the rectus abdominis, so just down the middle, your sort of six-pack abs, and our second move for the sort of transverse side um, and the obliques, basically outside. Cool. All right, let's come on down to your backs. So first move, we're gonna integrate the sort of lower and upper abdominals. So lifting our legs, we're going to work the lower abdominals to keep them here. Upper abdominals are going to work hard and sort of reach for the toes. Okay, so this is your push, your toe push. If you need to, just keep the legs on the floor and we'll still aim up past the knees. Okay, so hands, just sliding up past the knees. That's our first move. Move two, we're going to twist and cross crawl. Um, three counts and a pause, okay? So just a little combination here, just watching. So we can go three, two, one and hold. Three, two, one, and hold. Okay, so when you hold, you should actually be looking that way and that way. Okay, so you turn your whole upper body. So in that way, it's not just your arms and your elbows moving. We rotate, look, rotate, look. Okay, so just freeze for a moment on each. We'll kick it off in 10 seconds. All right, 20 seconds of work, team. Starting with your legs up in the air. Tuck your chin, brace your belly. We're going to push towards the toes in three, two, one. Let's go. I love it when it hits the beat. Come on, shift your rib cage down into your hips. Reach a little longer. Rest. Uh, take it longer. Okay, so start with your knees above your hips at 90 degrees. Twist, twist, hold, twist, twist, hold. Let's go. Nice, everybody. Yeah, perfect. Nice work, Victoria. Rest. Take it off. Those two moves are going to take us to the end. They're working primarily down the middle. Feet up, reach, go. Now what's happening in this Tabata training and the whole session that we've been doing, you're sort of having big blocks of work um, with a short rest. It's called uh, inefficient rest. Nice. So we have inadequate rest. What happens is every time you start to move, you're sort of building on that fatigue. You never fully reset. Rest. Okay, have a minute, have a second. Wow, only 20 seconds, right? Open your chest, twist, 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 go. Twist, twist, hold. Yes, yeah, stick it there for a second. Try and pull your elbows backwards a little bit. This creates counter tension in the back and you can actually work harder through the obliques as you twist the torso. Rest. Halfway, I know you're burning, right? This is the powerhouse of all the big movements that we do, right down the middle. 
Point your toes, reach, three, two, one, we're off. So you got a nice sound, you got a good crew, all working together. Three, two, one. Good energy, we finished up this workout. Open your chest, try not to move your arms. Open and turn your torso, go. The work that we do now to strengthen for the core, this is gonna make our workouts easier next week, tomorrow, whatever. We have a bigger base of support, you're gonna be instantly a little bit stronger than you were. Three, two, one, rest. Last time we're gonna see each move. Two rounds left, less than one minute to go. Point your toes or keep the toes on the floor. Pulse and go. Bro. Looks awesome, team. Push it, push it, push it. Come on, the top range. Work in that top range. Up, 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 up. Rest. 20 seconds, let's pull it a day. Last one, okay? Twist, twist, twist. I'll right, give you a quick stretch at the end, all right? All right, let's go. Twist it up. Try and point your toes and keep your shin parallel with the floor. So your knees start at 90 degrees. Five, four, three, it's the last one, two, time. Well done, everybody. Good work. From me to you, good work. Stay on your backs if you like. We'll just go through a quick, simple stretch, a few minutes, and then, yeah, thanks for coming. If you're going to race off, race off. Thanks for being here. Otherwise, three minutes, quick stretch, and stay on your backs. All right, team, just bring your heels in. We'll take a leg up, lengthen out the back of the legs. Keep your tailbone touching the floor. You grab wherever it's comfortable here. Nice scene. All right, change legs. I'll give you a full cool, cool down song as well. All right. There you go. That should be a little bit cooler. There you go. All right, just hug your knees for a moment. Bring both knees into your chest. All right, and just roll yourself forwards gently. Now let's stay seated. Just bring one leg in front. One leg behind, there's a 90 90 here. You see that there? So 90 degrees in this front leg, 90 degrees in this back leg. Now I want you to take your chest right over your shin. Take your time here, just breathe, focus on your breathing, bring your heart rate back. Now take your chest on the corner over the knee and isolate the glutes a little more. Get a little bit deeper in the sun. All right, let's change sides. Roll around. So 90 degrees in the front leg, 90 degrees in the back leg. Come down over your shin. Hey, you guys did so good today. Thanks for being here, everybody. Take your chest over the knee. Come on down. All right, take a step forward with one leg. Come on up. Push your hips forward, pull an arm up. Nice. Really fall to that side a little bit. Beautiful. Other side. Big step, sink, reach up. Nice. Coming up to your feet. Come for a quad stretch. Knees together, lift up. Nice, so simple and effective bodyweight training today, team. Made a little bit better with all our friends here. Hope you guys are well, healthy and safe on the side. Hopefully you're all fortunate enough not to um, have come into contact with, with everything going on, um, either yourself or your family. Yeah. Take your chin, lengthen out off the spine. 
go the other way, put your hands behind your back, and then take a big breath in. Exhale, just fall behind the knees, then just lengthen out your lower spine. Come on up slowly, roll your shoulders, shake out your legs, give yourselves a quick hand at home, a quick high five for the first year. Um, as long as we maintain the 1.5 distance. <laughs> hey, thanks so much, everybody. So good to have you all. Um, yes, I'll see you guys back again on Monday. Look out for the updates on Facebook. Feel free to invite any friends. They don't have to be UTS. Um, anything like that, I believe. So, yeah. So good to have you all. Any feedback is, of course, welcome. Um, but yeah, as you guys leave the room, thanks so much. Great to have you all. Good to see you, sweaty faces. Good. I hope you're staying healthy and safe. You can follow me. Um, on Instagram or Facebook if you have any questions about anything feel free get in contact otherwise I'll see you guys back here next week um, or on Monday pleasure guys thanks so much woohoo